So Darren, how have the last 10 days been without a game? It's a rare opportunity to have a rest in football. Very rare. Um, I was trying to think about the last time that I had an opportunity like this and I think it's the first time in my management career, aside from when I've been in divisions that have had international breaks and things like that, it's been yeah, it's been the first time. Um, it was it, no, it definitely came at the right time only because of the the Oxford game and then Altrincham. Um, it just gave those players who have pretty much been consistently the players that have played the majority of minutes this season to, to give them a kind of a flat break um, and try and we were flat against Altrincham. You could see that, not, not so much physic. everyone thinks it's legs and physicality is, is mental. And it's that concentration that went into um, the Oxford game. I thought we mentally looked very, very fatigued. So just to kind of clear the decks, reset on that front was good. Lots of our players live away from home most of the week. Um, so a good chance for them to go back to their families, to get the group away from each other so that when they come back in, they've got new stories and they've done new things and they share and... So on. So we we had a good we had a good uh, we had three days off and we came back in and trained very hard and then we again had the weekend off uh, and we've had a full week this week. And looking back at Altrincham, you said it was a massive point after the game. What are your reflections now of that game and that run of fixtures of other in a whole? Yeah, remember? yeah, big point, really big point. Um, and my reflection is, um, for, for me personally, is um, could I, should I have changed maybe more in the starting lineup to have that that freshness? Did I believe that the players that could come in and freshen it up would um, attain the level needed to win games at the moment? I think that's the, those two questions are massive questions for me and the and the coaching staff. Um, for example, the, the biggest example, of course, is Armand, who for, you know I wanted to give a rest to, and he comes on and gets us that huge point. And I'm looking now forward and thinking, can I ever give Armand the rest again? And based on based on that performance, the, the the answer would be no. So then, how do I prepare the next layer underneath to be able to support that? who gets the rest and when, um, and how do we go about it, and then how do we prepare that group behind, that's been a pretty consistent start in 11, how do we prepare that group better in the future to be able to come in and attain the level straight away. And um, you know, I think that's that's a big thing for us as soon as we, this month and, and over January, obviously with the transfer window and things, um, that maybe we address that that resource behind what has become almost like our strongest starters. Um, I think that's a, that's, a, that's a big point of discussion for everyone to have. And looking forward to another busy month, December, five games before Christmas, and obviously Boxing Day, away at Aldershot. How do you plan for those sort of moments in the season? Is it sort of game by game, or is it you're looking more further ahead? No, 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 moment to moment. Um, I don't think we, I don't think we're, I want to say the right words now. I don't think we're that club that can go too far away from the moment. Um, so I think, I think with all the things I've just said as well and answered the previous question, we have to live game by game and, and make decisions game by game. Um, I'm get, I guess the easiest one to kind of look ahead to and think maybe there could be uh, adaptation is the trophy game, maybe. But then again, I'm a believer of if you're winning, keep winning. So I, again, we'll once we get to the eve of that game, we'll decipher whether we we do that or not. Um, but apart from that, we we have to focus on you know three or three or four huge huge games this month. And the first one is Maidstone. What have you made of them this season? It's the first season back in the national league. Well, I, I said this in my program notes. Hakan and his assistant Terry, brilliant, brilliant people. And I don't think you can ever, uh, I don't think you can ever underestimate the values of what good people do and how they, 
work with their teams and how they motivate their teams in order to get them at their best. And they've, 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 they've done very well of late. And Hakan and Terry, in my opinion, are the heart of that, that team. And if I judge the team purely on the value of the manager and his assistant, it's a very, very good team. And, you know, I think, I think they are, um, you know, I think they're brilliant people. I don't want to disrespect the, the players, of course, in any way, because they're fabulous in the way they won the league last year. You know, had some, you know, had some big, big spenders in that division last year and they, they swatted them to one side. So the players deserve a lot of credit for that and respect. Um, and I've worked with one or two of them uh, in, in the football league. So there, there is some good quality there. Um, Terry Harris Hacken's assistant he was probably my first assistant. Brilliant, brilliant man, and n nothing but huge amounts of respect for him. And because of my respect for him, I, I guess that projects over my respect for the football team, my respect for the manager, and um, and that makes it a really, really tough game. And you know, we can see. I heard the you know some the, the normal murmurings of when 17th place draws at home. Or gets an away point to the fourth place. These are, these, these are very, very good teams, very, very good teams, and um, well prepared, very well recruited from, and um, they all pose such a big threat. And our squad for, for this weekend, how's it looking? Uh, we've had a couple of illnesses this week. I won't, I won't share who um, or whom, um, uh, but we've had a couple of illnesses, so we could look. Uh, different Saturday tactically we could look in terms of I talk about the consistency of the starting lineup we could probably look different in that um, uh, and and probably the, those of who was injured the week will probably strike people straight on the, the forehead with with team selection but we're hoping that both will be available for <coughs> um, uh, for Saturday but they've, they've got to get through training first and they're yet to do that as of Thursday afternoon. So, um, yeah, it might be a late fitness test for a couple of them. But pretty much uh, in terms of Corbo is still rehabilitating. Uh, Sid Nelson needs to have a, an operation which will probably rule him out until mid to end January, which is a real shame for him, really feel for the, for the lad. Um, Wilkinson's getting closer a lot lot closer so mm, touch and go uh, but closer um, and I think that's it and perhaps on a slightly different note to finish things off the club run their annual Christmas projects helping families in the area how important are those sort of projects uh, to clubs like ours well it's not it's not to clubs it's people like us and you know and and how people within our position within any community it doesn't have to be a football club it doesn't have to be a business it's just people how um, we can help and show some sort of humanity which is tough in this day and age I feel like the levels of giving and sharing and you know some sort of human touch are being lost in our cyberspace world that we now live in um, but anything we can do to support anyone that is in need or, or needs some support at this time of year or needs someone to talk to, I'm huge on people's on mental health and the, the experiences that I've had in, in mental health. Anything we can do to support, we have a massive responsibility as human beings. Again, we need to put football clubs and businesses to one side. As human beings, we have a huge responsibility. So anything that I or my team can do and you know I do feel that we've recruited some really smashing people um, to lift or enlighten or galvanize those that need it then we are absolutely at the forefront of that and want to uh, and want to support that as best we can thank you for your time and best luck on saturday top man